Okay. Hi guys. Welcome back. It's been like two hours since I posted my last video. Um, it is currently what time is it? Hold on. It is eight o'clock and my hair is still curly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten my hair. And no, I didn't shower because uh, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna straighten my hair. Um, this is a journey and an experience that I am bringing you guys with because I've never done like a doing my hair type of video where like like the last time I posted like a get ready with me I was literally in second grade and there was like four different videos to that <sighs> See, it's so dusty okay so there's that I'm gonna section my hair and pull it up So I wore a crop top today, see? Now I don't know why, like who the fuck wears a crop top in the middle of freaking winter? Well, not like the middle, it's like towards the end. But like winter in Park City doesn't end until freaking like March. No, next month is March, like April. And um, it's like the beginning of February barely. That's kind of giving me a headache. This is kind of a look. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can mm -mm. never, never, uh uh. Not happening. No, thank you. Okay. So, what we're going to do is. My flat iron is heating up. While it does that, we are going to brush. We're going to section my hair and brush it. Um, I'm kind of scared. Like, um, sometimes people at oh, are you? Fuck your balls. Who <laughs> like as I was saying, sometimes people at my school, when I straighten my hair, they don't even recognize me. Like bruh, I don't even look that different with straight hair. I really don't. Um you know, it's just me with straight hair. Heat it up enough. I always get so scared doing it around my ear because I always feel like I'm going to burn my ear. And so you guys know how in my last video I said that I got my phone taken away? Well, I found out at school today from my boyfriend's cousin because I'm friends with her. But he'd also got his phone taken away. Because <laughs> um, his mom found a jewel pod under his pillowcase. <gasps> Look how much longer my hair is though. Oh wait, it's literally like an inch longer what the fuck <laughs> um i'm losing it if you can't already tell um it's like having no social media thing um i've been living with social media since i was 10 since i was nine i got facebook when i was nine I got a phone when I was 10. 
Um, so being without social media is like kind of hard for me because I am almost 15 and I've never been without social media, you know. So this is going to be a struggle. Like, um, it's been a struggle for me not having my Instagram, which is like kind of weird because I never really went on Instagram anyway. And like now that I don't have it, I miss it, you know. And I was telling my friend Lana in English today about how my mom took away all my social media. And she was telling me about the story about when she was younger. All her, par her parents took away all her toys for an entire year. An entire year? Do you know how fucked up that is? Also, did I mention my mom's in Wendover right now? Fucking Wendover. It is Monday night. And she's in Wendover. See, this right here is why I don't straighten my hair that much. Because it doesn't like to go straight. But, take that from me because you girl ain't straight. Honestly, straight people kind of scare me. But I'm friends with a bunch of straight people, so. And they say I'm scary, bruh. I ain't scary. Actually, a bunch of my friends say I'm scary. I don't think I'm scary. Do y'all think I'm scary? I don't think I'm scary. It's already been like seven minutes and I've strained this much hair. What the fuck? Um. <clears throat> Kind of peaceful, you know, straightening your hair. It's fun. And, um, had another hair tie. So, what I do is I like section it, like, and then when I'm done straightening a piece of my hair, I'll like put it in a hair tie, like I'm doing now, so it doesn't get mixed in with my curly hair. Because when that happens, it is very frustrating. So what I do is I brush my hair like normal. I'll start from the bottom and work my way towards the top in sections. And then, um... I'll section it even more. I'm not going to section it as much as I did this one because that literally took seven minutes to straighten and that's not even that much hair. I wonder if my boyfriend will recognize me with straight hair. Hopefully he will. If not, that's okay. I mean, he's never even seen me with straight hair. Like, even before we started dating. So, on Friday, I tried giving him his bracelet. He wouldn't take it. He wouldn't take it. I was like, here, I made you this bracelet at 2 a.m. because, as you know, I couldn't sleep. I'm like, okay. Like, do you not like blue or something? Because I can make it in another color. I'll ask you tomorrow. Um... And also, a few days before I asked my boyfriend out, I found out he was bi. 
which I love and I don't mind because as you guys know I am by too. But you know, it's if you guys like meet him, he doesn't seem like the type of person to be by. You know? I know that's like kind of stereotypical of me to say, but it's like true. Like he doesn't seem like the type of person to be by. that that's some good quality ASMR right there now this obviously isn't this whole video isn't just gonna be me straightening my hair because that will be like two hours long and you girl ain't got time for that um I was literally, I was like watching TV and I looked up at my alarm clock and it said 7 of 3. Well, it said 6.59. And I'm like, damn, I better start straightening my hair. So, that's where we're at now. So, a little bit more about me and my boyfriend to make this more interesting and not boring video, just me straightening my hair. Um, I met him this year. I met him in August, no, in September. Um... I've known his cousin since seventh grade, though. Just I just met him because he had been going to school in Salt Lake, even though he has been living in Park City. So there's that. Um. I was like, wait, oh yeah. So we had this thing at the high school called Grief Group. And not that many people are in it, but me and him are. And um our first kiss was in the grief group room. So on Friday there was supposed to be a grief group, but like the teacher put like the wrong time because she thought it was like a normal day and not Friday because Friday our days are super short. We get out at eleven thirty. Anyway, so she put the wrong time. So we showed up there. I got there before him, though. So we showed up. And we were, like, sitting there the whole time. And, like, no one ever came. And I was, like, freaking out. Because I was, like, supposed to, you know, share my story and stuff. But that never happened. So anyway, we just sat there the whole time. I was freaking out most of the time. I was like having a freaking panic attack, anxiety attack. Like I was flipping out. At one point I was laying on the floor. I was like, I was freaking out. Oh my God, I was freaking out, bro. I was freaking out. Um, 
Um, and then, so like, so like what happened was he was like, so what if I kissed you right now? And I was like, what if you did? And then he literally kissed me. And that's how our first kiss went down. Not gonna lie, it's kind of similar to my actual first kiss. If you guys remember my ex Roxy, she came over here once for a sleepover. A few days after we started dating. And um she's like she was like, um, so what if I kissed you? And she's like, and I was like, so what if you did? And then she kissed me. So it pretty much went down exactly the same as my actual first kiss. <laughs> but I was really nervous. It was a weird first kiss. Um, both of them were. And, um, yeah. Um, so then we made out a few times. Like, in the classroom, we were by ourselves, just sitting there, chill. We didn't have our masks on, because we were the only ones in there. And, like, what's the point, you know? We were the only ones in there. Okay. I don't know why, but I had that song. I don't know who it's by, but it goes, if you like it, then you should have a ring on it. You know, that song, I had that song randomly stuck in my head. So that's why I like, started kind of dancing. Don't mind me. I get distracted so easily, oh my God. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but in my last couple of videos, I get sidetracked in so easily. I could be talking about one thing one minute and then the next, like, five seconds. I'm talking about a completely different other thing, and then I'll go back to the thing that I was talking about, and it's, like, all over the place, you know? Okay. <laughs> um, so back to what happened with my boyfriend. Um, I kind of went over this in my last video, but I'm going over it again because I like talking about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we like made out a few times in what was supposed to be grief group, but it wasn't. And then as we were walking back to Treasure, which is the school we go to, um... He kept saying, oh my god, I can't believe we made out in the grief group. Like, he was freaking out about it. I was like, babe, it's fine. Calm down. I mean, no one saw us. And we almost did get caught. We did almost get caught. At the Towards the end of the day, like 10 minutes before the bell rang, um, some teacher lady walked in. And she was like, oh, I have to um, get this um, room ready for tutoring 
And we're like, okay. And then we asked her, we were like, um, is grief group like happening or today or not? Like, did it already happen? Like, and so she went to get Miss Walsh, the grief group teacher. I was like everywhere. So then we left. And then he was freaking out. He was like, oh my God, I can't believe we just made out in the grief group room. The grief group room. And he was like flipping out about it. I was like, babe, it's fine. Calm down. I mean, other than the fact that we almost got caught. I mean, when that teacher walked in, he was like, I was sitting down in my chair and he was like on my lap kissing me. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I won't spare you guys with too much detail because that's for me to know and for you not to know. <laughs> and um, so we walked back to our school and I was supposed to ride the bus home with him. And like his mom emailed the school, right? But the bus driver needs to have the note, right? And the school never um, gave his bus driver the note. So we had to take the city bus. And we took this one city bus to like his friend's house in Deer Valley. And he like got this druggy stuff off of his friend. And then we took another city bus um by his house and his mom picked us up from the place where the city bus the second city bus dropped us off and then his mom took us to their house i'm hearing things or my mom's home Okay, I'm going to end the video here because as you can see, I'm barely done with the first layer and this video is already 22 minutes long. So, um, so we get to his house and then we make the popcorn as I talked about in the last video and I barely ate any of it because I've been like starving myself, but it's fine, you know, I'm good. I'll just not eat, whatever. And um, then um, we went downstairs to his basement, which still kind of sounds like he was trying to murder me or something, but he wasn't. It's not like a typical basement. It's like basically a living room, but downstairs. And they called it their basement. Anyway, um, then we play video games and I watched him play video games we made out more I made a TikTok and yeah that's basically all that happened so I'm going to end the video here because I'm hearing noises <laughs> and it could be someone's here, someone's not, who knows. I always hear noises. And then um, I'm going to finish straightening my hair. So maybe I'll do like a night routine later or soon. Because my phone locks at 11 o'clock. And I have no idea what time it is now. Um, so yeah. Uh, like, subscribe. And I forgot to mention that the comments are off. Because YouTube has this thing. Where they turn the comments off of any YouTubers that are younger than 18. Which I am. I'm only 14 and a half. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to end this.
is here. Uh, like, subscribe, share, follow me on my socials, even though I can't add you guys back right this moment. Because I have everything taken away at the moment. But, I'm working on um, getting that back sooner rather than later. So, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Have a fantastic day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this. And I will see y'all later. Bye!